Group blog. Group blog. Blog. I might be losing my flight back home. You know why? And good morning. I was supposed to get up at five, but that ended up in slumber for five minutes, ten minutes more. And yeah, now we're here. <laughs> the time is eight thirty, I think. No, eight forty-five. Mm-hmm. In the morning, but it feels so fucking good to sleep. <sighs> and checking out in three hours. Just gotta do some work first, and. Oh, and pack. We take the subway, train, something out to the airport around two ish. Okay, but first I need my coffee. Remy is downstairs and just called me, said he had time for a quick coffee. Uh, I'm leaving from Oslo today, so the weather is beautiful. Uh, but I just want to finish this vlog episode with Chris tattooing my penis. Yes, he's tattooing my penis. It's in this link, or this link. I need a break anyway, so let's go grab a coffee with Reams. Looking swag. <laughs> My man. Hello. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. My man, can you bless me with a coffee? Of course. Of course. What? Yes, please. He knows my... <gasps> oh, gee, shit. <laughs> Old? Afura, do you remember this shit? Ooh. Do you remember this <laughs> Can you uh, create a... Uh, <laughs> I didn't even get to ask. Yeah, and Reem's gonna help me pick out something right there. Chia. Yeah. So good. Yes, and vegan too. He's gonna help me shop over there afterwards. This one. Mm -mm. Free promotion. My man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Having a coffee with Reem, Sarah. <laughs> In the reception area. Cozy shit. Gum is good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> This is me in a nutshell. I have to be out of this room in 20 minutes and I have not packed anything. And I have to go by the Dr. Martin store because the laces are wrong. Uh, yeah, gotta hurry. I'll see you. Yeah, I just had to. It says Express Jungstage with a heart. My signature was right there. And then it is YouTube and at Marty Manzoni. We get some commercial for everybody that has my room here. My room, my room at Comfort Hotel Express Jungstage. Done showering, now gonna pack like lightning. We're done packing. I don't have that much time right now. I have not checked when the trains are leaving and everything, so let's get a run in and check out. Have my last coffee and upload the vlog. Yeah! There you go, my man. Can I ask you one last favor? Do you know what it is? <laughs> a man. <laughs> Full, thank you. So we're checking out now at Comfort Hotel Express Jungstoje. Thank you for having me. If we're lucky, if you're lucky, I will be back in March. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
It's almost sad to say, George, I have to give the cup back. Thank you. <laughs> there was another Martin here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to him, though. No problem. See you. By the way, I actually have footage of Martin. You want to see it? Okay, that's it. It's coming here now. Don't tell anyone, but this is Martin. <laughs> this is the real Martin at the hotel, his cup. Good, this is out when I'm done here at the hotel. Uh huh. Uh huh. my name, brother. Okay, here's a fun fact. I might be losing my flight back home. You know why? Because I had to buy a sex toy. Great, Martin. Just missed the previous train, and I bought the most expensive train you can do. It's like you can do the normal trains like these. This is like the cheap train, costs like 90 kroners. And this one that's coming right now is 190. And I missed the one that was the one I was supposed to take. Hope we reach the flight and I'll keep you posted. I can just go play with myself in the toilet if not. Did I catch my flight? No. All that sweat for nothing. I bought the most expensive train ticket you could get out to the airport the fastest, but I missed it by 10 minutes. So those 10 minutes resulted in me having to buy a new ticket, which is fair enough, it's my own fault, but it leaves in five hours. I would be home now in 30 minutes. <laughs> It's so depressing and I'm so mad. But what else can you do but laugh? The good thing is, now I can edit the vlog that I'm one behind. So I can also take a cat wash here at the airport handicap toilet. Fresh. Second try, it is five grams over the kilo. Yes! Right. Oh. And now we're lucky if we get this through security. Tote bag, which has books and vinyl, and it's super heavy. And you have a backpack that's about to explode. And jacket, hoodie, and toyness, pants, and stuff. It's gonna be interesting. Mm. Oh yeah! <laughs> My man over here, he's a professional actor, did you know that? Tell your full name. My name is Eirik Høye Mortensen. And he's a fucking actor. I used to play with him in a, in a theater play called Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> a play called Romeo and Juliet. Hey. By the little known Shakespeare. It's some guy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's, uh, no one actually. He was, uh, he liked to shake things up. Yeah, really good with the shakers, you know. I think he was uh, training a lot because he drank from those shakes. Yeah, know? probably. Those gains, you know. Gains. That's how it is. I, I pulled his pants down in front of audience. 450 people, yeah. I think. Yeah. It was a nice experience. <laughs> Traumatic, but nice. <laughs> He loved it. And you've been studying in the US as an actor? Yeah, in New York. What the hell? How old were you when you moved to New York? 18. First time in the US, all by myself. How long did you stay there? For approximately a year. And now you're a full-blown official actor? Yeah. How can people book you? Though? How they can book me? Yeah. Hit me up. <laughs> like, if you see the link underneath this video, that's to his Facebook profile? Yep. Is it open though? Yeah, it's open. Yeah, yeah. Search his name, which is? Eirik Høye, with an I, Mortensen. Yeah, and if you're too retarded to understand what he just said, I can write <laughs> his name underneath the video, so you can read it, copy-paste. I missed my flight, super pissed off, and I told him, in my own gypsy way, this was my dinner, because I used all my money on sex toys. <laughs> <laughs> and a new plane ticket, so not only sex toys. But what do you think happened when this guy heard the sad story of the vlogger? Who didn't didn't have enough money for food? Well, this happened. This uh, thing. I don't know what it is. And this for the plane. Thank you, man. No worries. He's gonna keep me entertained until his plane goes in. We'll see. You don't know when your plane is going? No, I'm not sure actually. Yeah, I just don't miss yeah, the flight we'll like I did. But we're uploading the the vlog from yesterday, two days ago, and it's going super fast. Only one hour and twenty minutes left. I love airport internet. <laughs> 
can't fucking believe it. I almost missed my second flight, even after five hours of waiting. But did I make it? Did I make it? This is my brother. Hi. Look at his beanie. That's the shit right there. Coming up sneaking on me, surprising me. Almost the same length now. Huh? Huh? Long way to go. Mm -hmm. You know why I missed my flight? Sex toys. Yeah. Like brothers. I see you, bro. Thank you. Coffee. Coffee. Ah. Yeah, we reached the plane. It's actually a good thing that I missed the plane. I met Vidar, my brother who we just met for the first time in years. Well, in a long time. Got some free food, good conversations, got some work done. It's the best time I've missed my plane ever. And there it is, the plane. And now you know how much I love you, Vidar. Because my seven kilo books and vinyl baggage is not gonna be able to fit in any of the luggage compartments. It's gonna be a long ride with the luggage between my legs. We're on the plane. Only five hours after I was supposed to be in the plane. Well, now I'm here. On my way home now. And you know, as always, I will show you a magic trick. But I will end the vlog here though. But this will be the transfer to the next day. Yep, I'm just gonna relax when I get home. I'm not gonna vlog more today. Okay, ready for magic trick? Oh, you can ask me. You wanna say goodbye to all the million of viewers? Goodbye, all the market viewers. And what do they have to do when they see these videos? Come into Comfort Hotel Express Young Story. Mm -hmm. Say hi to me, all the other great staff. That's a great thing. And they should also subscribe and share. Drink coffee. And subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Yes, you heard the man, exactly. I didn't say anything. That's what you gotta do. Well, slept in today. The view, the morning, beautiful. We're here at the uh, X Games Park, the Skjortretten. Very good skin. Let's go here, I clip all the clips to sex like, oh.